So question one then from the paper two of the 2016 new higher maths. There we go, the lines in the triangle question. That's what you want to see. Nine marks. Part A. State the coordinates of M, the midpoint of QR. Hence find the equation of PM, the median through P. Well, if it just said what's the equation of the median through P, you would have known to find M anyway, so it's leading you by the hand a wee bit here, maybe just to help you into the paper. Well, the midpoint means it'll be the average of the coordinates. So M's going to be the average of the X's. Add 6 and 10 and half it. Average of the Y's, although you can see straight away, 2, 4, 6. I've written that that way anyway. So M is going to be the point. That comes to 4 upon 2 is 2, and that comes to 8 upon 2 is 4. Now to get the equation of this line then, you would need its gradient, and that's why I had to have both of those points. So I'll need the gradient of the line PM. So that'll be the difference in the Y coordinates over the difference in the X coordinates. I think I'll just put this in here. Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1, if you like. So difference in the Y coordinates. 4 take away negative 4. Maybe I'll just spell it out. Difference in the X coordinates. 2 take away 0. So that's 8 upon 2. I could just go straight in with that then. 4. The gradient of that line is 4. And it looks like that. I know it's not meant to be an accurate diagram. But it is a steep line. No, there was only two marks for this equation. That's because that's a simpler form of the equation. You know where it cuts the y-axis. So for part A, you can go in straight away with y equals mx plus c. Don't forget your old friend if you know where it cuts the y-axis. So you can just feed it straight in. The gradient is 4, and it cuts the y-axis at minus 4. And part B, find the equation of the line L passing through M and perpendicular to PR. Passing through M perpendicular. So it's three marks here for getting the equation of that line. So to get the equation of a line, you need a point on it. Got it, you need its gradient. You have to get the gradient by reference to PR. So I'll need the gradient of PR. So that'll be the difference in the Y coordinates over the difference in the X coordinates. It's easier when you've got them written out like this. So that's difference in the y, 6, take away negative 4. Maybe I will just spell it out. Over difference in the x is 10, take away 0. So that's 10 over 10, which very nicely is 1. Which means that the perpendicular gradient should be negative 1. And usually it's sufficient just to state that, just using the negative of the reciprocal without going through having to justify it by saying the product should come to negative 1. So that should be a mark each. And the last part is, so what's the equation of the line? So you'll be using y minus b equals mx minus a, because you can't resort to saying y equals mx plus c because you don't know where it cuts. Feed it into this. y minus the y coordinate, y minus the 4, is the gradient, negative 1 times x minus the x coordinate, x minus 2. You may well get that. We'll get the final mark for that. I'm going to finish it off. So negative x plus 2 plus 4 is plus 6. Just give it its name there. I was going to call it number one, but it's got a name already. It's called L. And part C, show that L passes through the midpoint of PR. In other words, show that this line's actually a perpendicular bisector. I'll just call that midpoint N there. Well, not. I'll just say midpoint of PR. So what is the midpoint of PR? The midpoint of PR will again be the average of the coordinates. 0 plus 10, although obviously the halfway is 5, and negative 4 plus 6. So that would be 5, and that's just 2, so that's 5, 1. I'm going to give it a name. N is 5, 1. Now you have to show that that lies on the line. If the line passes through the midpoint, then the midpoint's on the line L. So it's just a case of testing that against L. So taking the equation for L and feeding N into it, 5, 1 into it, you would have Y equals negative X plus 6. It's always difficult. How do you, do, will you just put them in and show you've got the same number or will you do left-hand side, right-hand side? Maybe I'll do left-hand side. The left-hand side is the Y coordinate, which is 1. The right-hand side would be the negative of the X coordinate plus 6, which is 1. Left-hand side equals right-hand side. Well, this is more something they might do later on, of course, which means I can state with confidence, N 
lies on L because I've given them all names.